there is one of the first signs, Camino de la Costa, headed toward Avias. Got myself a croissant as I'm leaving the city. Be the perfect treat. Just a walk. foggy morning <laughs> it is so humid too it's so interesting this is like a very different kind of very different kind of weather than I've had for the past couple of weeks I think I've had clear sunny skies every day for almost two weeks but this feels kind of nice actually um, I love I love kind of like the mist and fog in the morning um, I don't love the humidity the humidity is really high and I'm sweating a lot already and the path hasn't even been that difficult <laughs> but I am loaded down with things so in Oviedo yesterday it was the first time I was in a store since Leon like a bigger store and I just happened to run out of like everything at the same time toothpaste soap to wash my clothes sunscreen so well, I still have some of the fancy sunscreen, but I wanted to get some cheaper stuff. Um, so my pack is pretty heavy. I got snacks, I got stuff for lunch. I didn't take much video yesterday in Oviedo. Um, I met some pilgrims in the albergue and one of them kind of asked if we all wanted to, he was gonna make some salad and stuff for dinner and asked if we wanted to join. So we went to a store together and then um, just kind of put some stuff together in the albergue and it was really nice you know I was a little torn because I love Oviedo and <laughs> I think I expected because I was ending a pilgrimage starting a new one that it would just be a really quiet solo time I'd go out and explore the city and just kind of hang out um, but instead we spent a lot of time in the albergue um, but it's okay I've been to Oviedo like multiple times and I was able to wander around in the afternoon and so all was good um, and I think it was really nice to have that kind of time with pilgrims they're all really young <laughs> I definitely felt older <laughs> but um, to just kind of sit around and eat and talk and um, there's a pilgrim from France from Canada from the Netherlands and from Germany and so it's always just so nice when you can get such a mix of different people and we just had some interesting conversation and I was like in dire need of vegetables and so <laughs> to have a salad with a ton of veggies was so good. So um, this path so far is pretty quiet, although there are like three pilgrims behind me. I keep hearing them. They kind of appeared out of nowhere, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, I don't know what to really expect when I join the Norte um, later today. I think definitely they're going to be pilgrims, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Once again, time for a new path. We'll see what it's like. very beautiful part of the walk. So this is a stage, Oviedo to Aviles, that I haven't done before. So when I walked the San Salvador in 2016, at the very end of it, I got sick and I had to like drag myself into Oviedo and then took a rest day, just found a really cheap hotel and took a rest day to try to get better but then I lost some time, so I had to skip ahead and I took a bus, so I skipped over this and I skipped over the part out of Aviles. And then really the first several days when I continued on the Norte that year, I was still not feeling great. Um, and so my memories are, they're kind of interesting of that time. I remember some of it, but I think a lot of it was just I can remember like distinctly not really enjoying the experience and just kind of wishing I was home <laughs> because I wasn't feeling well and I just wanted to feel better and 
you know, I wasn't wanting to interact with other pilgrims because I was sick. I was trying to stay in some private rooms. I didn't have much of an appetite. The walking was hard. So it's another reason that I wanted to come back. You know, the San Salvador, I really just wanted to do again because it's such a beautiful walk. And this part of the Norte, you know, I'm once I started to feel better, I enjoyed it. Um, but I'm really curious kind of what these initial stages will be like now that I am not sick <laughs> and feeling really strong. So, um, so far this stage, you know, a lot had been on pavement, um, but this is so far the prettiest section. It's really nice. Check out these absolutely perfect hedges. <laughs> so beautiful. Just when I was getting worried about a bathroom situation because the path has been going along a road for a long time and I think we'll probably continue until I get into town. But I saw this little turn off with a cold fountain so I just wet my buff and then kind of up those stairs there was a wooded area. Ah, so I got a bathroom break. So now I am <laughs> wearing the cold buff because it is hot today. It's the first time I think I have put my buff in water to cool off, but I don't have that much further to go, so, so it'll be all good. <laughs> <laughs> 